Today we are going to make this lampshade cover. I have not removed original fabric cover from this. Instead, I have taken measurements of upper portion and lower portion and then try to make as accurate as possible. So in this way we can take it whenever we want to wash it. So for the upper portion I have I have made required um, number of chain stitch according to the size of upper portion. So we will start with this. We will start our work from upper portion that is this portion. This circle is smaller than the circle in the lower portion. For the above circle we will make 80 chains. Keep this tail long as we will need it afterwards. So we will make 80 chains. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, it is very easy to twist and turn when we, we are making a long chain. So what we do to prevent that? We will insert our hook in the first stitch and then continue making chains. This way our chain will not twist and turn. So we have made 10 chains. Eleven, twelve, thirteen. So in this way we will complete our 80 chains. I have completed my 80 chains now. Slip stitch to first chain like this. Now chain 3, 1, 2, 3 and double crochet next stitch. And this way we will complete the first round that is double crocheting each and every stitch. So we have completed first round. For the next round I will be using green thread and I will attach it in any of the stitches with standing double crochet. One double move one more double crochet in the same stitch, chain two, one, two, and skip two stitches, next two stitches. So one, two, and in the third stitch we will again make two double crochets. Chain two. Again after skipping two stitches in the third stitch we will make two double crochets and in this way we will complete the second round. So in this way we will complete this round. 
so we have completed second round also for the third round we will make three double crochet in chain two space and then one double crochet in each of next two stitches then again in chain two space we will make three double crochets one two three and then in these two stitches we will make one double crochet each so in next stitch next chain two space again three double crochets then in these two stitch again one double crochet each so in this way we will complete our round so i'm not changing the color of my thread so in the same stitch where i did slip stitch i'll make one double crochet or i'll make chain three this will serve as my first double crochet double crochet in the next stitch now i have come to chain two space i'll make three double crochets in this chain two space one two three again one double crochet in these two stitches one double crochet in the next stitch so Three double crochet in the chain two space and one double crochet in next two stitches in this way i'll complete my round so for the fourth fourth round we will make v stitch so we will start with standing double crochet in any one of the stitch of previous round chain one and double crochet in the same stitch chain one skip two stitches next to it one two and in the third stitch again double crochet chain one double crochet chain one skip two stitches and in the next stitch we will make a V in this way we will complete this round double crochet chain one double crochet and in between these stitch these v stitches we are making chain one space now our fourth round is complete in the fifth round we will make popcorn in each of these V stitches so for the popcorn we will make five double crochet in this V stitch you can start from anywhere first standing double crochet four more double crochet in the same V stitch take out your crochet from this loop now insert the crochet in first dish dc first double crochet and grab this loop bring it through this and chain one this completes our first popcorn chain one again one popcorn in next V stitch okay. 
insert into first DC here grab this loop and bring it through this chain 1 this chain 1 completes our popcorn and the next chain 1 is for space between popcorns so we will make popcorns in each of V stitch popcorns mean five double crochets and chain one makes one popcorn and then chain one for the space and next popcorn now our popcorn round is complete for the next round we will make standing double crochet in We will take both the stitches, stitch from this fifth round and fourth round, both of them together. So for this round we have taken chain 2 space, chain 1 space in between the V stitch and chain 1 space between the popcorns. In this space we have made 3 double crochets. In the next space we will make only 1 double crochet like this. Next 3 double crochet in the next stitch. So we are not working in the stitches but chain one space of round four and five. So in this way we will complete this round. Three double crochets in this space then in the next chain one space one double crochet and in next chain one space three double crochet again. So three double crochet one double crochet, three double crochet and in this way we will complete our round.